Hey guys, Ed's attention to detail, and what are we going to do today? Well, recently uh, purchased this 2007 Chevy Silverado. Got a really good deal on it, uh, but it needs a few things. So, bed rail cap. All right, this one uh, looks pretty good, except it's loose. But you'll notice <laughs> the one on the other side ain't even there. So. You can't buy just one, you gotta buy them in sets. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this one off. I've actually had it off once already. Ugh. So, there we go, got that one off. And you see that it leaves this adhesive. I'm gonna have to clean that, I'm gonna have to scrape the adhesive off. But, this is what I'm gonna replace it with. I got these uh, diamond plate bed rail caps, left and right side got them for 60 bucks which is about $20 cheaper than I could get the plastic ones so I'm gonna take all of this uh, adhesive off of the truck here um, and I'm gonna clean everything and then I'm gonna put those well before I put the diamond plates on I'm gonna paint them black because I think that's gonna look really good against this white truck right here you know so anyway that's what I'm doing uh, kind of show you along the way. I'm going to start scraping, cleaning, and I'll show you what, what it looks like when it's clean. So, anyway, um, yeah, we're going to uh, work on those bed rail caps and uh, get everything cleaned up and get those put on. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so this is the rail cap just sitting on, and I still need to paint them black, but you can see that I got the tape that was showing off. I didn't take all the tape off. And if I was doing this for somebody else, I probably would take the tape off of there, but it ain't gonna show. Um, this is gonna be more or less a work truck anyway. So yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna go paint these black. And yes, and uh, then we're gonna come back and put them on the, on the truck. Okay, so this is the finished product. See, I've painted the diamond plate bed rail protectors, got them installed. I use double sided adhesive, 3M uh, decal adhesive. And just for safe measure, I went ahead and I put a screw in on each end because the last thing I want is for these things to fly off uh, going down the highway. But, um, some of you might say, ah, oh, you know, you just drilled a hole in your truck. Um, I did put paint inside the hole uh, to help minimize any corrosion that might start and uh, then painted the tops of the screws once I got them in. Um, and, and I'm not really worried about holes in the truck because you'll notice uh, the bed liner and everything, it, it's already got holes in it. So. Um, it's not like I just put the, the first holes in the truck, but anyway, that is the finished product. Oh yeah, I'll show you that. That used to be my license tag, so I cut it out of the license tag and put that on here too. So, probably the only uh, U.S. United States Navy uh, reflective decal on the back of the truck anyway so there we have it and uh, she's coming along starting to look uh, look pretty decent here so it's gonna be pretty nice looking work truck when I get it done so remember Pay attention to the details. See you again soon. Bye.